it is bear season, and if that don't excite you, I don't know what's gonna. But what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna share with you some of the things through all the years, and it's about, well, probably about 45 years or so of doing this, is we have all kinds of tips on what to bring on your next hunt, whether it's spotting and stalking or stand hunting. You know, like we said, two styles of hunting. Whether you're backpacking or you're using a vehicle to spot and stalk the bears, and then you take your pack and you go off from there. Here it is, having a good frame pack, a lightweight pack, having it so you can get the meat and the hide and everything, hopefully in the minimal amount of trips that you possibly can. But now if you're gonna go stand hunting or ground blind hunting, I like a pack that stays in form. And here's why, I can hang it up in a tree, I can put it on the ground, I got little shelves, I got everything, but I, it's easy to reach for my gear in here. So either type of hunt that you're going on, please, Test the packs, you know, because a lot of times when a pack like a regular backpack doesn't have rigidity, you mess around too much looking for your gear. When it's like this, it's, it's made for us hunters. You know, if you're going to a bait situation, most of the time there's gonna be water nearby. Make sure you pack a good set of rubber boots. You know, we always like our, our neoprene on top, the rubber on the bottom. The thing people forget about with rubber boots is a boot dryer. If it's warm out, you're walking a lot, you're covering ground, you sweat, you come back, those boots are always wet. Pack a small, portable boot dryer. You can ask the outfitter if you're hunting with an outfitter, ask them if they have them. If not, I wouldn't even assume they do. Just pack them. Now, mountain hunting for the bears, one of the things is have a good set of mountain boots. Make sure they're worn in. Please don't run to Cabela's or Bass Pro and pick up your pair as you're leaving for the airport. You will regret it for the rest of your life because those blisters will let you know. One of the things we're always wearing is our gaiters. See, if you're hiking and the ground's wet and you're not wearing a gaiter, what happens is your pants start to get wet. And as that moisture, it keeps going up your legs. The next thing you know, all the way from your knees down are soaked. Your gaiters not only help that, but they also protect your gear and your clothing and your boots from going through all the brush, going through the alders, going through the thickets and everything. When it comes to spring hunting, warm weather, normally near swamps for the black bears, <laughs> so are the mosquitoes. Redhead Tech Light, we've been wearing this for a while now. It's super cool, super lightweight, so you're hunting, you, you know, in, in warm weather, it's a really high tech material, but it has the repellent built in and no smell. It's got the shirt, the pants, I mean, it's, and it's super lightweight. The other way is another super lightweight. It's called Instinct Defense. We just picked these up at Bass Pro Cabela's. So I still have the tag yet, and I'm, I'm washing them and I'm throwing them in. But what's nice here, it's got a hoodie. It's got a face mask already built in. It's always got your front pocket. So whether you're putting your phone, whatever you're doing with it. But the big thing too, with the pants, not only lightweight, but check what they did. Now this is even for the ticks and all those little miserable chiggers and everything. It's a sleeve that's built right above your ankles. So now you put your pants on, this sits here. You could tie your shoe, tie your boots. You could even tuck this into your boot, tie it, put it right over. And again, this too has the repellent in it. You know, there's a reason why they make different size binos. Is there one optic or one bino that fits everything? Well, you can make it work. But the thing is, is trying to get a few sets to, to adjust for every situation is just that much better. If you're stand hunting and most of your hunts are gonna be close proximity, you're not glass and far, a smaller lightweight compact set is great. And you don't have to maybe look at a 10 by 40s, go, by your, go to your eights or something just because you don't need the heavier bulk, the bigger, the stronger optic wise. Go into a mid-size, super lightweight, love them, rubber coated, good eye cups, everything about it, 10 by 42. I mean, this right here is just a great optic that will take you everywhere. Or you can go to even one more advanced. The big thing though, is this is a built-in range finder. So instead of me having my range finder on one side, my optics on, you know, here on the front, I can go with one set of optics and believe it, when they first introduced all this, you know, the optics with the range finder, it was very expensive. Now Bass Pro Cabela's have brought them so the average person can afford it. So you have your bino and your range finder built in. And something we never go without are Spy Point Force Pros. Now, why are we taking the Force Pros? Well, one, as you know, sometimes, you know, in some areas, the cellular cameras, you can't be using them during the actual hunt. 
So don't even take a chance. When you're taking a camera, bring some extra cards, make sure you bring some extra batteries, bring straps and tree mounts, and you're ready to go. You know, a quick rundown on what we bring on our bear camps. First and foremost, our earth scent wafers. And what I've always found with earth scent, real simple, Alaska to Africa and everything in between. If you grab up dirt and you smell it, it all smells the same. Always, we bring a wind check. This way we always know which way the wind's going and sometimes, you know, if all of a sudden, if you're at a baited site and that wind starts swirling, we grab our bear spray and it, this is the anise spray and I'm telling you, you spray this and it smells so wonderful. But the good thing here, it puts those scent molecules up in the air instead of just like a liquid spray or something like that. This is aerosol, so it goes up and you could watch it and it just goes back. So if the wind starts to turn against you and you're in the stand, put that out there and you'll watch that. And the next thing you know, you realize that it just helps. It just may give you that opportunity. As that bear coming in and he smells something and all of a sudden he smells that, he can't resist that. Besides our scent away spray, we always, in all of our packs, we got our field wipes. Our field wipes are used for multiple purposes, and I'm not going there, but they always work for all the different things. And instead of going getting, you know, regular wipes with some type of scent on it, and a lot of them, if you, if you see they, they say non-scented, open the package and smell them, because you will smell an odor. And during our hunts, we don't want any of that type of odors out there. Some of the field stuff that we carry in our pack all the time, what I really like are some of the new knives. This Muddy right here is a replaceable blade and they are razor sharp. So all you do is you pack this, pack an extra set of blades, and you could take care of that bear completely with all that. And that probably doesn't even weigh a pound. We've got our SOG, we carry a multi-tool. Why? You always you never know when you need. If the buggy breaks down, if something breaks on your equipment, if you get up in a tree stand and there's screws are loose or something, you always have the right tool to do that. So always have your multi-tool. Something that people don't think about a lot, and that is if you're up in the mountains or you're way back in the swamp, you're gonna take your photos and then you're gonna you know, quarter up the animal. Well, Caribou Gear makes this super lightweight. It's just a little tarp. Love these things for all of our hunts because it comes with stakes and everything. So what you do is you stake this tarp down and when you start to quarter them, you got a very clean surface. It's not sitting in the bog, it's not sitting on you know, dirt or anything for all the meat and the hide. Don't skimp on your game bags. You know, for years, guys, oh, I just got some cheesecloth and it doesn't do anything for you. Take your time and get a good set of game bags. Now, this is an investment for the rest of your hunting life. It is, because you could wash these. Pack it in, get take care of the meat, make sure it's clean, keep the bags on them, pack them back to camp, throw them in the buggy, get them back to camp, take them out, let them air out, wash the bags, and they're ready to go for your next hunt. Spring bear hunting, we don't go without them. But, you know, some of you have run into issues we have in the past about having the butane. Some of the airlines don't like that. Maybe they even go in there, you'll open your case up, and there's a little, little sign saying, hey, we inspected your stuff and we did remove some things you like. So, Thermacell came up with this rechargeable unit, the EX90. It's got the liquid you put up inside, just like this. There is no butane whatsoever. It's got a 20-foot zone, which is even bigger than ever before. But the big thing is super lightweight, clips right onto your stand, onto a limb or whatever. Right here, you're never gonna run into that issue with the butane again. So whether you're traveling, you're driving up to Canada, or you're driving to one of your bear hunts, or you're flying, Thermosel's got you covered on both ways. And we do not hunt without them.